Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson here. We've got Eli. He's going to be helping me out today. Um, the world is a crazy place, guys. Hope you guys are all safe out there, um, nestled in your beds. And answer that phone, please. And guys, uh, here's some jujitsu to uh, help you guys out. Why can I not talk, Eli? I don't know, man. I'm distracted. Must all be right. stock market. Yeah, stock market. All right, let's go, guys. We've got the back here. I'm on the back, I've got the seat belt. I'm gonna fall over to this side on the strong side, and I'm here. Now, I wanna choke this big guy, but it's not easy, okay? I'm gonna give you guys some tips here on what I do to get the choke. I have other videos where I show a lot of this stuff, but I'm gonna give you guys one little secret today that, that I haven't given out, but I'm also gonna go over my little system. Again, a lot of people use stuff like this, but let me explain. Seat belt goes like this, left hand grabs right hand. I cover the choke arm like this. I don't, I don't use a palm to palm, and I don't go this way. I do it like this with my thumb down, grabbing on. He's gonna defend himself by grabbing onto my choke arm. Now, let's answer the question. Is he controlling my choke arm with two hands, or is he controlling one hand on my choke arm and one hand on my support hand? And that's an important question to answer first. So in the first case, he's got my one on one. On one. He's got one on choke arm, one on the support hand. If he ever tries to peel that one, I let him. I open up my hand and I use this hand as a blocking tool so that this hand cannot get to the choke arm. So watch this again. He's, he's peeling there. I go like this as I crawl. Now, this is gonna happen really fast in real time, but for right now, we're going slow. I'm gonna crawl this all the way up to get to the shoulder. As long as he pulls on this wrist, I should be able to hold on, pull hard. Yeah. But if he gets my fingers, remember, all bets are off, he wins. Okay, he wins if he gets fingers. But remember, right now, I'm not letting him hold fingers. He's, my fingers are protected. I make a fist, I grab onto my, my hand, and he's on my wrist. So if he ever peels that one, and he's pulling, I go here and he try to go fingers. He never can reach. I bring my other hand out, and I rescue and peel, okay? Two hands now. Once I let go, once this one was holding my hand, once I do this, two hands are coming up. This hand's job is to prevent him from going for my fingers. So I keep him off the fingers as I crawl higher and higher, and then you can place right here, hand behind the head, and pop the fingers up and grip and squeeze. So one more time, we're here. He's one and one. If he's one and one, what do I do? He's holding or pulling or whatever, it doesn't matter. Even if he's doing nothing, just put your hand on it, just hold it to your chest, I just do this. See that? Now, again, when this happens fast, this hand is going to let go of that, let go, and then he's gonna try to come to two hands. Exactly, you see how you did that? Yeah. So look at the angle at which I bring my hand. Go ahead and hold again. Now watch, I bring my hand like this, and now I go to your wrist. So what happens is I go this way to get through. What I don't do is, go again, I don't do this because that would make it easy for you to do that. See that? Yeah. So now when you go, whenever I do this, see how you let go? And where did my hand end up? On the inside. So if you go to my hand now, yeah. see this hand, I'm not letting it. Try to go. Yeah, now I got your wrist. And now if this hand ever lets go of its position to go for fingers, my hand goes further. So you're almost in a position where you're like, I've got to stay here and slow this guy down from, the, from getting a touchdown, right? You're trying to hang on him. Because if you reach for the fingers, you lose every, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's the strategy. So I'm here, you're, you're holding on, even if you're just holding, and even if this hand isn't peeling fingers, you could be on top of my hand. Yeah, like that. And watch what I do, I open it like this. You see that? Yeah. Now try to go to, to the one again. See how my hand goes inside? Keep trying to get it. And now this hand holds you down as I 
race to the shoulder. And then yes, you're gonna, some people will reach up, I rest you and peel, keep coming. <laughs> and now I keep him free and then I go hand behind the head and finish or if you like the shorter choke finish. See how that works? Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's have you try that. Okay. Okay, so come behind me. All right, so we're here on strong side. We've got, don't cross the feet. We're gonna go one and one. So a lot of people will do this. Some guys will go two against the choke arm. We can address that later. So one and one, and he's going here. So again, all you're going to do is you're gonna just open your hand, yes, and crawl, and now, now you see how, I, I don't wanna to move too quick because we're learning, but let's do it again. Let me, let me, go, let me talk about this slow. Go ahead and go again, you open. Now, this hand is always looking for wrist control, for the hand control. You, that's what you're always looking for. Right. But the whole point is, let's say you went for my wrist first, and I put two hands here. This may not be possible to push down. You see what I mean? Because I've got a good grip. Right. So, the, the, go back to your seatbelt, seatbelt. So, it may not be possible. So, what the point is, is you're gonna use your hand like a blocker, just like a blocking tool. Yeah, like that, go ahead. Yeah, that's it. And now, if I do go, you snatch it, and you snatch it and go, or, okay, or when I'm here, if, if you open it, and I try to go, and I try to just hold on, you just say, fine, you hold me, because this guy's making his run to the basket. And at some point, I am going to let this go. And when I let it go, that hand can come out exactly. And if you ever felt like this was starting to happen, just push, push it. it. Yeah, just push. But don't, uh, don't come. I always say, don't come outside the house too far. Right, right. If you come outside the house, then this starts to happen. Yep. And the guy's going to start escaping. So we want to make sure that when, go ahead and start again, open. Now, when this hand tries to come here and you, you come out to rescue the fingers, just push it, just push it a little. Come out, yeah. Come outside on the porch, but don't come out in the front yard. Uh, you know, you right, see what right, I mean? Right, right. Just come out on the porch and push him out as this guy gets in the door. That's too far. Too far. Just, just, a, look, just a little. He, he only comes out a little. See, every time. Yeah. Yep. And then you got me. Okay? See, belt. This is the one on one situation. Okay, so I'm. I, this video is getting super long. I'm gonna have to break it into parts. So we got one and one, and now that's it, and then go. Bam. Good. I want, we're gonna have to fix your, your rear naked check a little. Well, no, 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 I love that. I love what you did. But when you go to the top of the head, the Hulk Hogan. Right. So we don't <laughs> wanna, head, we, yeah, we wanna get that hand behind the head. And, and one little tip, guys, for doing that, when you, when you get here in this hand, we don't want to go to this position, okay, here. And he's got these big arms, so that tends to happen. What we want to do is, we can make a little space. I can make a little space so that my hand can get inside, like so. Rather than keeping my chest here and then going like this, I can't get my hand. So you end up doing this and the guy pulls it down. So what I do is I go, there and this can be done even with the hooks so you might think here zoom in here get a little closer over here over here okay so when he holds and he's and he's holding one-on-one -on -one, and if a guy starts to peel it all or he's just, even if he's got his hand on it he doesn't have to even be peeling he's just trying to hold it tight and i just open you see uh, that yeah yeah now keep going now look now look keep going keep going now watch when i finish the choke keep going I just want to show that, the, the live movement. Now look at my separation. Keep going, try to pull it. <laughs> okay, now look at the separation I'm gonna make. Keep going. I don't want you to stop. Okay. I'm talking to the camera. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gee, I don't know if you could feel what I did, I went. Yeah. See that? Look at my head. See, my head goes back. It's like I'm throwing a punch and I avoid my own punch and then I'm right there. Did you feel what I did? Yeah. I'm yeah. slipping. I'm slipping out of the way of my own little punch. Yeah. Damn, I just punched myself in the face. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. so we're here like this. So we're gonna go one on one today on this video. And you're gonna pop it up. Good. 
don't, no, you cannot let me go. Right, this, right. this hand's job is push that so, hand down. Let's do it again. Right. Ready? Yep. Now, go on fingers, come on out. Now, when you make your deal, let's say you want to go, no, hold the shoulder. You're pushing hands away. When you want to do it, just slip your head back. Punch this head behind the head. Make it a gap behind the head. Yes! Do that again. You're like punching right behind Ye the head. Yes. Go. Bam. You can open it. Go slow motion instead of going fast. So push, punch. Yes. And then make a gap. No, make a big gap. Make a big, no. Just stop going fast. Okay. <laughs> make a gigantic gap. Lean all the way back. Put your hand behind. Do don't close the deal. Okay. Don't close it. Don't Just close it. go back. Boom. Put the hand all the way in. Do you see how deep you are? Yeah. yeah Look at how deep you are now. Deep. Now go back and do it again. So you big guys are like, I can't do it. Ready? Oh, man, you're just ripping my neck. <laughs> just do it. Relax. Go okay. slow. Here, hold. Push. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just learned something. I just learned something. I don't want to teach you jujitsu anymore. Because <laughs> if I teach this guy too much, he's going to just kill everyone, <laughs> including me. No, it's a beautiful thing. That's my goal. That's my goal. All right, guys, teach me grappling. I'm going to be coming out with more. We'll do another one when it's not just one on one. What about when they go two hands on the choke arm? That'll be next. All right, guys, take it easy. We're out. Stay safe out there. Bam. That was good. Thank you.